I'm Sarah Blutfi and this is part 5 of learning Campbell biology okay and today we are going to t learn about the cell an organism's basic unit of structure and function okay so let's jump right in okay and these are the main subjects that I am going to talk about in today's lecture Okay, at first we are going to talk about what does the cell even mean, okay? Now, what does the cell even mean? Okay, in life structural hierarchy, the cell, uh, this thing over here, this sphere over here, is the smallest unit of organization that can perform all of the activities required for life, okay? Uh, but you have to be very certain that you uh, when you are writing the answer what is a cell you have to write that uh, the smallest unit of organization that can perform all activities required for life or if you don't say that part, the last part, it would mean the molecules, okay? And molecules can't do all the activities required for life. So, uh, you won't get a good grade at that exam, okay? At first, now, no one even know, knew that cells exist. Okay, until the year 1800, about 220 years ago, after many observations, scientists came up with the cell theory. Okay, okay. the cell theory states that all living organisms, uh, including all living organisms, humans, animals, and plants, all of them, are made of cells, which are the basic unit of life. And in fact, all the actions of organisms are all based on the functioning of cells. Okay? For example, the movement of your eyes as you watch this video results from the act activities uh, of muscle and nervous cells okay so if those cells didn't function correctly you won't be able to watch this video nor see or watch a television program a uh, television okay another fascinating fact is that the processes of which carbon atoms are being recycled is the product of cellular function okay in including the photosynthetic activities of chloroplasts in leaves and cell leaf cells and other algae algae okay so and these processes of photosynthesis uh, make car uh, sugars that have carbon inside them and uh, they produce oxygen that we can breathe okay so we can breathe okay which i will discuss in the next lectures how this process the process of photosynthesis works okay now let's talk about all cells share certain characteristics okay or in other words, what does our cells have in common with, for example, a cheetah or other animal cells? For instance, every cell is enclosed by a membrane, okay, that regulates the passage of materials like water between the cell and its surrounding, okay? So one of the, one of the characteristics is a cellular membrane or plasma membrane the and another one is the cytoplasm and the next one is nucleus okay now uh, scientists distinguish all the living cells uh, into two main forms of cells prokaryotic and eukaryotic 
these ones are prokaryotic and these ones are eukaryotic okay and there is another form called archaea that i'm going to talk about later on okay now i'm going to talk about what are what does prokaryotes include and the eukaryotes okay now Prokaryotes include single-celled organisms like bacteria and archaea, okay? And you should know that at first, bacteria and archaea were in the same phylogeny, the prokaryotes, okay? But after a few years, scientists saw that archaea, uh, saw that the archaea's uh, genes okay and bacteria's genes are very different so they corrected the phylogeny and so archaea okay uh, have a separate phylogeny uh, than bacteria okay uh, and this we have reached the end of this video as well and so if you like this video please like and share it and uh, please write a comment below that you liked it and so i will see you in the next videos